I just have a couple questions regarding Suzuki Cup. Yep. What does Suzuki Cup mean to the Filipino people? It should mean a lot. You know, it's it's the tournament that you know brought uh, the Ascals, you know, to the attention of the, the Filipino people. It was the tournament where we had, you know, success, which um, allowed people to you know, to become interested, to to become aware of the team. So I think I think myself, you know, the team. Um, and the Filipino people, you know, we, we owe a lot to, to the growth of Philippine football because of the Suzuki Cup. Talk to me about the miracle in Hanoi. I actually had food poisoning and oh. I actually came off in the 60-something minute because I scored the goal and if you see the replay in the celebration, I'm actually rubbing my tummy because I'm not feeling well. And if you watch the videos after the game, I'm actually, while the team is celebrating, I'm vomiting in the toilet. So um, that's my memory of that, of that day. <laughs> um, but it was also, I mean, the, I remember we were asked to leave the changing rooms early. You know, always uh, one of the goals when you're uh, when you're playing away is to try and silence the crowd. And I think uh, we were able to do that, and um, especially because Vietnam, had, I think they won their um, their first game in the group 7-1, something like that. And um, um, everyone expected um, it to be a similar scoreline because uh, because of our history in the tournament. That we were able to shock people. The Vietnamese were very surprised. Um, but my memory was being. Uh, Food poisoning food, yeah. and the goal. Yeah, let's, that, let's, that's let's... all I can remember from it. Yeah. How did that feel like for you to um, score an international goal? For, in for me, it Suzuki felt Cup. like relief because it was the second goal. I think uh, Chris's first goal was the one of more of, of jubilation and excitement. But um, for me, my goal was more. It takes a bit of pressure of us because they had a lot of the ball. They were. They hit the bar, um, Neil had made a lot of saves, our defence had made a lot of blocks. The team had worked very hard and to get that second goal, it, it gives you a cushion and it gives you, um, you know, it gives you comfort. So for me it was more about, yeah, relieving that pressure and it was more relief than anything uh, scoring that goal. Phil, for those who weren't able to watch the game, talk to me a little bit about what the game was like. Well, it was, uh, I can't remember many times, you know, um, especially during that time in Philippine football where we play in front of sold out stadiums, full stadiums, uh, where we probably had 50 Filipinos in the in the crowd and then there was 41,948 uh, Vietnamese. So, uh, you know, to, to walk out at that moment and, you know, see a full stadium, a loud stadium where they're cheering on their team and they're the favourites and they're expected to win. I hope to, you know, that's one of the reasons you play football, to be able to play in, in front of those sort of... Uh, atmospheres and uh, hope, uh, hopefully we can do that many more times. What were your expectations then versus your expectations this coming season? Um, well, that, that was, that's, <laughs> that's, that's the big uh, difference, the expectations. I think going into that tournament we didn't expect much. We knew we had some good players and we knew we could work hard but previous results we'd, we were losing 4-0 to Malaysia, 4-0 to Thailand and uh, Viet Vietnam were the former champions, they were the reigning champions. So going into that game, we you know we didn't have many expectations, but this year you know with us we've brought in a lot of you know good players. Um, we have a new coach. Um, you know we've got a lot of experience in the competition now. We've been there you know three out of the last four times. Our goal now is to you know to go one step further, one one or two steps further than the semi-finals because uh, you know we only know if we're doing well when we progress. And for us to progress, we need to be getting past the semi-finals.